it's funny when you talk about like when you're in a platoon and everyone starts taking ownership stuff, you know, problems get solved. What's crazy is the opposite of that. <clears throat> it's not one level of badness when people aren't taking ownership because when they're not taking ownership, they're blaming each other. So it's not just, oh, we're going to blame each other and that's, <laughs> that's not good. That's not good, but guess what else is coming? Now we're fighting, we're yelling yeah. at each other. Like it causes exponential problems beyond just, it's not just, oh, if I take ownership, the problems get solved. If I don't take ownership, the problems don't get solved. If it was that simple, it'd be like, you probably deal with it. But if now we actually are fighting, we're undermining each other, we're yelling at each other, we, 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 we turn into freaking idiots. And so, yeah, we, and that can happen in people's personal lives too. You know, yeah. you, you, it's not just that, oh, well, we've got this problem in our marriage and it's not my fault, it's your fault. If that's where it stopped, you might be able to muddle your way through it, but that's not where it stops. Yeah. It stops and you say, it's your fault. And they go, what do you mean it's my fault? <laughs> Actually, here's some nine things that are your fault. And, but all of a sudden we have not just one little problem that's not getting solved, you have exponential problems across the board. It's a freaking disaster. Yeah, it's a game changer. Um, now you came back from that deployment and you actually did a couple years where you were doing some uh, some classified stuff um, overseas, and obviously we can't talk about things that are classified, um, but maybe some unclassified lessons learned from what you were doing? Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing that I learned while I was over there is is how to build relationships. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I got I got really into it, and I started trying to perfect that craft by reading books. So I started reading books like um, How to Win Friends and Influence People, uh, The Like Switch, like anything I could help get my hands on, because I knew that when I was over there, it was just going to be me and one other operator. That's it. We didn't have like a support system. We didn't have a platoon. That was that was us. So we had to build a good relationship with like the local populace in a very short amount of time. Um, we had to build a good relationship with our interpreter. I, and that's really, honestly, when it boils down to it, our lives depended on these relationships because at times you're asking some of these people to risk their lives for you. And so that's where I really started delving into how do I get people to trust and like me to the point where I can influence them in the shortest amount of time. That's really the biggest lesson I got out of those two years from doing that that mission set. Yeah. Well, that's and that's something that applies across the board. You know, it's funny when you were talking about the switch going off in your head of like, oh, I can use this. Stuff. That's the same thing that happened. That's what started all this stuff. I went and talked to these freaking executives about leadership. They started asking me questions and I was just applying the principles, the four laws of combat, take ownership. Like that's what I started. And it was 30. It was the first question I got asked. I was like, oh, oh, you have this problem. OK, here's how you solve it just based on the principles that we already know. Yeah. It's like a freaking, such a nice moment in my <laughs> life where I was like, oh, because I didn't, again, I didn't, I was totally institutionalized. I didn't understand. I didn't know anything about civilian companies. I didn't know anything at all about them. And all of a sudden I realized in an instant that, oh, all this stuff applies to all these leadership situations, man. And that's the same thing, going back to building relationships. It's like, oh yeah, guess what? Have you ever had a moment in your life where having an antagonistic relationship with someone you got to work with helps? It's like that, 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 that has never happened to anybody ever. It's yeah. never happened. Where, oh, I don't get along with this person and I have to work with and it's beneficial to me. Doesn't happen. So why are you not focused on getting to build relationships with people? It's freaking crazy. 